Hi everyone, it's Agent Juicy. I've got another video for you today. Uh, in this video, we're going to basically be looking at uh, apps and gaming and stuff like that in the BlackBerry Q10. That being said, this question came from uh, Eternal Morris, the username Eternal Morris, who asked, uh, Do I play games? <laughs> yes, I do play games. It's not my entire lifestyle or, you know, it's not all I do. Um, that being said, though, I'll show you some games that I play, and I'd highly recommend to you, and then I'd show you some really poorly developed games on the BlackBerry Q10. I hope you guys do appreciate this video. So, let's dive right into how you could download games and stuff like that, so... Mm, okay, so that's ended, so... So, how to download a game, you basically go to BlackBerry App World, you open the app up, and then you select Categories, and then you select... Well, you look for games. Select games, and you could select whichever uh, category you want, such as action, arcade, board games, card games, uh, children games, co combat, and stuff like that. So we're gonna look for some arcade games. So I like. Let's see what they have. Oh, I had this on my playbook. It's pretty good. Looks pretty good. Let's see how it runs on uh, the BlackBerry Q10. Uh, the playbook I think has a 16 by 9 ratio or a 4 by 3 ratio. Uh, 16. Yeah, 16 by 9 ratio. Or is it 4 by 3? Oh well, it doesn't matter. Let's just see how this works. So the game already installed right now. We're just, well, download is just installing right now. So let's wait. In the meanwhile, I'll just show you how my, this is one of my favorite games that I keep. Tic-Tac-Toe. Old school, can never go out of style. So let's see how it runs on this device. So, as we can see right here, ooh, what's this? What's that? Hmm, interesting. Never seen that before. Anyway, let's just go back to tic-tac-toe. So, this is how the game is. It's actually laid out really nice, and I, for some reason I see it collapse. Oh, that's ads up there. So, the ads definitely uh, pushes down everything on the gameplay. So, it's my turn to play, so I'll just play. I'll turn some on volume up so you guys could get the whole hmm. wow I actually won on camera <laughs> so that's pretty good so tic-tac-toe the champion just kidding and let's look at uh, another game called run in a crowd this is one of my favorite games on the blackberry playbook I play this possibly 98% of my free time has a really cool little audio feed going on as well uh, You have the ability to customize your character for a cost which I'm not gonna pay 99 cents for you could share this to Facebook Twitter and Whatever else that is one thing I must say about gameplay though is Blackberry try to create something really unique which is basically like a scoreboard for like you and all your friends to compete uh, on the Q10. So basically you just go to here and then you see uh, Agent Juicy, your username right there, and then you see how many stars you have that you got in the games and stuff like that. Uh, and the more you play, the more stars you get, and basically it tells you how recent you played and stuff like that. Then you could show all your friends and stuff like that. You could send requests over BBM on Facebook and stuff like that. Then it shows you top rating games or popular games on the phone right now, so we will probably tap on this and let's see, uh, let's just go to the app store and see how much unavailable for this device, so that sucks. So this game has uh, opened, so we'll close off the games now, because you can see it shows you like a little feed there, live tiles. So let's play some Run in the Crowd, I, I really like this game, I definitely recommend it to all of my uh, viewers to have a go at it. Basically, you run and try to jump over all this stuff, and it automatically gives you uh, how good you are at the game and stuff like that. So, let's try to hit 500 on the camera, so I don't look like a, a loser. I usually get 3,000, by the way. So, ooh, close. So 500. And that usually ramps up some more in terms of speed and gameplay. And I definitely like the music because it's not it's not like uh, 
that that, that terrible. It's definitely ca calming. So you see, I'm, I'm ranked. Uh, you're better than 151 players ranked. Uh, 1,033, uh, and that's the distance you covered, so we close that off. So, those are some really good developed games. However, the 1 by 1 ratio, as we all just looked at, it definitely makes things look really awkward on the game. So, I'm going to try to quickly open up some more apps on this phone. So, earlier today, when I was trying to load this app, it crashed on me like it wasn't starting up at L. So, let's see if it works now. Try to zoom in. So basically it's a driving game. I definitely like uh, the layout and stuff like that on the phone. So let's play. So at the bottom here you'll see the brake pedals and then it just automatically accelerates and then you have this to steer right, this to steer left, and you're basically your entire goal is basically to collect uh, the goal coins and not run out of time. I'm sorry if uh, the screen looks really white and you guys don't get to see. The gameplay is definitely really, I'd say it's really good in this game. I really like it. Definitely. And it doesn't get hot, the device doesn't get hot at all. When you uh, when you're gaming like this, so I just like ran into a couple of trees and stuff like that. So I could continue playing if you guys want. Just sit back and relax and make this like a gaming video. But I won't. <laughs> okay. So you guys can just see like the gameplay itself. It shows you how much you covered and uh, all that mumbo jumbo stuff that we don't really care about. Well, I don't really care about. So let's look at another game. So I'm just. This, all this is just basically to show you how the games look and appear and how gameplay and stuff like that is in the game. So this is like Age of the Empires, I don't know if you guys know that, but it's really old school game. So let's just start. No, I don't want to purchase it. I like it. Free. Free! New game. And this is what I, this is one game like when I was playing it like probably two days ago. One thing I didn't did realize about it like it definitely was not uh, well built in the terms of uh, the gestures and stuff like that. Like to tap to enter doors. We don't want to read that. Just start the game, please. So what I have to do is just enter the the game. Okay, I really don't want to see you. So. So the guy has to go in here. And I'm tapping. He isn't walking at all. You guys, if you guys could see this. Let me zoom in for you. So go in there. Go. See? Tap on the guy. Q. Get in there. Get in there. So. Oh, well, you have to adjust that button right there, and you have to deal with this, and I don't know, this game is is poorly built in the sense that the screen, the one by one ratio for gameplay, it's really weird, and it's like you're playing on a Nintendo uh, Game Boy Advance, which is like 15 years old, maybe. So, it has the ability to, to create nice games, and I'll show you what I mean, like the way how they created the Blackberry World apps and the Pictures apps as we can see right here, it basically scrolls through all of your pictures that you have on the phone and stuff like that as you go through. So I'll just swipe up and you guys can see like the pictures actually change in like real time. It's almost like active tiles and this is what I want to see on a gameplay. This is what I want. Quite and simple, this is what I want, this is what I want to see. So let's close that off as well. And what else could we do on this phone? We already played Buggy Blitz. I don't recommend that game because it's poorly designed. So this game, I actually play on a regular basis on my Android, and it's basically Ninja Run. And uh, let's go. So let's see how how fast this actually goes and stuff like that. So okay. I don't know if you guys could see this, but this guy is literally jumping for really long. And it's almost like 8-bit, like really old school. Versus on the Nexus, this game is so much smoother. 
I'm not sh I don't have it on the Nexus. That's pretty much about it though. So I'd say that's it for gameplay on the Nexus 4. Not the Nexus 4 on the Q10. So I recently downloaded this game previously. And every time you download a game, it always asks you this information here. Shared files, do you want to share files? No. Because I don't like to share my stuff. And I don't really like it, so let's see how this works. I always play this on a playbook, it looks really beautiful. It's basically old school getaway. And the speaker quality is nicely placed as well. And for this game, what? Oh, okay, it auto rotated, I guess. So, I really just want to play the game. Play. And it uses the gyroscope and the accelerometer to basically play the game. So, basically, what you have to do is. Don't hit the police. What? So, I don't know what happened there. This is definitely way slower than the actual uh, playbook. So, gameplay is not as you might have expected it to be. I don't think you can put the game. Oh. So busted. So that's it for gameplay. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. It's really short. Well, it's not really short. Uh, it's basically how games looked on the BlackBerry Q10 and if you guys like the form factor. Uh, for this device, I'd say it's capable of gameplay. High, high levels and high intensity of gameplay and stuff like that. Probably not because the app quality and design and stuff like that it isn't like the best for a screen of 3.1 inch so I definitely keep that in mind with when I'm buying a smartphone uh, the Z10 gameplay is definitely more suitable for those sort of stuff as well integrated and designed for it so that being said though the screen is a little cramped hope you guys did enjoy the video it's Agent Juicy don't forget to hit thumbs up and uh, thank you for watching